where I'm going right now, I can camp. It's really local. Um, it's at a boat ramp, and I see people doing it, so I think I'm gonna hit it up, try to try to hang out here for a couple days, do some fishing and stuff. I wasn't gonna record this. I wasn't gonna, but my my <coughs> my nephew wants to make sure he wants to see it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. This is super super perfect to just camp by myself no worries look the lake is down right now i don't see a lot of animal tracks or anything we got a lot of a lot of wood that i can burn i don't see any no camping signs i'm gonna walk around i've been coming here my whole life i don't think i've ever camped here but i'm not sure if you can so we'll see You see him biting? He's skimming the water. I figured I'd try to burn some of this stuff that people has thrown in here when the lake is usually up. There's a bunch of stuff over there I can drag around too. But look at this. Score! I'm just going to guess that this would be an amazing fire starter. Looks like they got a nail there. And it looks like it just does it. Is this a pine? Oh, that's a vine. Do you want another one? So I got a pile of stuff. That looks like it would be a good fire starter. So I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna go back in there. First time that I have ever found a clam here or anywhere around here that still had the parts. Like, I don't think that's something I could eat, but I've never seen one. Not around here that you could eat. That's crazy. That's big. And I think these are no longer good. But... Puff ball. How cool! Oh, that one's hard. No puff. I don't know what makes them good, though. Does that mean they're good? What I need to find, y'all, is some fat wood. And this little grove of down trees right here Looks like a good place to get some. I'm hoping I can use what was left from the uh, fire that was here just a minute ago to dry out this stuff I've pulled up from there. I got some more dry stuff 
It's red. Look at that color. I got a bunch over there I can get too. See the birds swooping eating? Bow! Get them. Get them. some stuff up use the coals it was there all right I just grabbed what was in the freezer so when I got I went on a kick for like 30 days with no meat when I come off of meat I thought it would be good to have some honey baked salmon and what I've got is these four bags I'm gonna put each one of them in one I'm going to cook it tonight, and I'm going to munch on it throughout the night into the morning, which is more than enough for myself, but that just ensures I got the calories when I wake up to, to do some more exploring and see what's going on, do some fishing, maybe catch some fresh fish. All right, got our salmon all in bags in a bag, fire going, and read some more. Wait on the sun go down. It is right now 422. It's gonna get dark pretty early. I'll end up just sitting by the fire, burning some of this redwood, chillaxing. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying. Absolutely beautiful. And this is like 10 minutes from my house. Look, the m can you hear it? Listen. Could you hear that? All the way around my head. I know I'm not allowed to hunt small game with a slingshot, but what about this turkey vulture? I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's over going, ugh, ugh, like it's grossed out by something. Ugh, ugh. Come on, do it, peckerhead. He's not going to do it now. He knows I'm cording. See that line right there in the center? That's weird. He knows I'm Gordon. I never said that I wasn't glamping. See my truck? Lake. Fire. Fish. First one fell apart, but uh, tastes great. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's good, super good. Mm. So that fish done a number on it. So just got some water. Ready for another piece of fish. I'll end up breaking it apart, but fish. So I decided to add a little water and then cover it and see if that turns out any different. All right, so I'm fairly full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place those those two pieces on this wood right here and then I might try to maybe smoke it 
So I might move that a little closer. It'll probably be cooked by the heat, but it'll be cooked on that, whatever that red log is right there. Look how pretty that stuff is. Look. Even has a reflective quality. I'm gonna hope for dried. Maybe not smoked. But I moved my tent down here out of that little gap. I'm that far away from the truck. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what I mean? Hopefully everybody has enjoyed the first night. Wasn't a lot going on today, but like I said, I'm going to lay in the tent. Look at the fire. I got all my stuff right here cleaned out. This one right here didn't quite come clean, but we'll do some more boiling with it. See what the water's got to offer us tomorrow. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the video so far. It's all new learning stuff. Let's go find some new stuff tomorrow. It's like 145. This car pulled in like 40 feet from where I'm camping. And they're just parking like 15 feet from my truck. Just running. Ridiculous. It is 5.30. This is when I usually wake up at home to use the bathroom. And my body still holds that clock. So I got up and used the bathroom. And my core temperature started dropping real hard. So I got the truck to warm up. Currently, right around six o'clock. I'm trying to get a little fire going here, and I'm gonna try out one of these. And I'm hoping that this, which is like a charcoal thing, I'm assuming this is for a grill. It was given to me by a grill master. that'll get us a fire going I'll see what else I can put on it in order to help the burn process like that and I'll show you guys here in a minute seems like it's working pretty good I just stack stuff on top of it should be all right you just sit here and think I could it's so good. I was miserable like 45 minutes ago because I'm just not used to the cold. I'm not used to being outside in the cold in the mornings. Not at 6 o'clock or 5.30 or 5 or 1, 1.45 or whatever when that person came and parked. I heard, uh, I heard some park and some run and I think you guys heard it. Hopefully you guys heard it. And then... And then it was about an hour of sitting there and I heard another vehicle come up with a loud music bumping. Bump, 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 bump. Which that in itself, I was awake about the whole time just because I was concerned about my vehicle. I'm in an extremely populated area. Like there's houses just right over there, you know, and the, there's houses over there and lake back here. So. That being said, this area, I'm going to assume, isn't patrolled as often by the police or game wardens or anything. So, I'm assuming it would be a good place to have a late night meet. That's what it seemed like. But, 
you know, I'm not miserable anymore. I'm warming up mostly because of fire, but I think also just because I'm acclimating to the cold. But I love it. You know, I hated it an hour ago because I was cold. Nobody likes anything uncomfortable. You don't like it. So you just got to get used to it. You know, and if I never, this was a spur of the moment thing to come out here. But if you don't do something to change that and to acclimate, you won't ever, you know. And then things are going to be even harder down the line when you want to try to do that. So do the hard things. Not necessarily always uncomfortable, but just do the hard things. See him or not, but if I would have brought my slingshot, I could try to shoot, up oh, there he goes, I could try to shoot at some crows, because that's legal in Tennessee and you don't have to have a small game license to do it, just a slingshot. I'm going to assume that I was wrong about there not being anything out here. I don't know what that is though, maybe a raccoon or a tiny little person. Doesn't that look like a tiny little person? That's a bird. But that. Something was right here. Looks like last night. There you see like there's a dog print or something with pads. But this does not look like dog print. I don't know what that is. This is same log I continuously coming back to for firewood. <laughs> Now we have our second day out here and I went ahead and broke camp because I left for a little while but what I'm thinking about doing is just hanging out here like that right there and then hanging out after dark for a little while and then maybe just chilling in the truck because that I can is considered urban camping right? So like I don't need the big tent that I have and I don't want to go through the effort of setting it up so the truck would probably be just as comfortable to sleep in. I wish I had a hammock to go between this tree and this tree. Hammock tent would be perfect. Man. So my saw broke. This wood apparently is very, very hard. So, you can see down in there, it broke right here, which makes it very hard to saw. So, I guess I could put this blade on a homemade piece of wood. Wood wouldn't break. So, I don't know how good this wood is. But, I'm going to see if I can get a piece out of it good enough to fix my saw. Obviously, from a piece this big, there should be plenty. You know, I just need something small. Well, you can't really see me, but I'm here checking out the everything. What is it? That looks like a fire too. Oh, that's a lot. There's somebody out there fishing.
Look at that. Man. What are they doing out there? Fishing. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but when I come out here, I didn't bring any headlamps or anything or any fly slots. Like, this is the way they did it. If I want light, I can make a torch or I can sit by the fire. So, this is also a test and stuff. I have some flashlights in the truck, and the truck is really close, but, I mean, this is enough for now. Like, it's not enough to show you my face, but it's enough. All right, this is what I have going on. I've just been chilling by the fire, super warm. It's not as cold tonight. I just got my sleeping bag on this tarp. Fire is keeping me really warm right there, but I don't see being able to sleep next to this fire tonight, so I will probably be retreating to the truck at some point to do the urban style, actually sleeping in a vehicle. I had a hard time sleeping last night, and I don't know if it was the nervousness of being inside the tent that was so thin in such a rural, rural area, or just being alone for the first time camping. So tonight I'm gonna stay in the truck after it gets to a good time and we'll see. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a pretty big back seat. Um, I originally was thinking that I would be sleeping up front, but after looking at everything, I think I might be able to kick it back here. I got this stuff right here. I got some stuff laid over here. Right here, there's a tarp. Got a pillow. Got another pillow. And I mean, I should be able to get pretty comfortable. I got my big sleeping bag. I don't know, we're gonna give it a shot. This is the first time that I have ever tried to use a, the truck as a camping utensil in itself. So, I'll get settled and we'll show you guys what's up. Oh, not so bad. Gotta open the back window a little bit. This ain't too bad, like, thinking about it, as in traveling to do stuff, I would wake up sore. Oh, for sure I would wake up sore, but it'd be good. Like, this is a, this is a way to save some money when doing some traveling and some seeing of the sights and stuff. I don't know, it's uh, roughly 7-Eleven right now. I'm already tired because the day in itself, long day. It started about 5.30 this morning. It does every morning, but it doesn't start every morning at 5.30 outside. Having to use the bathroom, and getting y'all, getting your stuff all out in the cold. That got me going first thing this morning, lowered my body core temperature. I had to start, I had to get in the truck, warm up before I could start a fire. But this is all a part of it. Learning, I'm learning. Like this is, every bit of this is a part of what I want to learn. I want to learn how to do this the best way, the most efficient way. I want to learn what few things that I can keep in the truck that I'll need that aren't in the way. Like there's a lot to learn. I'm really enjoying it though. I hopefully you guys are enjoying this two for one video. In, in the future, I don't think it'll be like this. It won't be like two for ones like this. This is just a chance to check out both experiences in one weekend. So, hopefully I'll be able, hmm, hopefully I'll be able to turn the back of the truck into something where it can sleep me and the boys and Jessica. That'd be really cool. As in like uh, the back back of the truck. Cause I could almost lay this back seat down, cut the back out and just make some type of awesome camper. I'm not gonna do that though. I'll, I'll give you guys an update here in an hour or two. Okay, about one o'clock. My body has failed me. I had to get up and pee. So, <laughs> I just feel like I look so funny, but. <laughs> My body failed me, I had to pee. So, I had to, I had to step outside of the vehicle and pee. 
and I got cold and in order to not just put myself through hell I'm gonna warm the truck up it's about one o'clock I passed out and slept good for a couple hours Ooh, and as soon as I get warm I'm gonna do it again I'll check with you guys in a couple hours all right it's currently 536 this is what time I usually get up but when it comes to being outside and outdoors and stuff there's not a lot to do at 530 I mean see how dark it is so I'm gonna head into town show you guys some in town we have Walmart Walmart where would be a really good place I'm assuming to do like some overnight camping or some stealth camping like this that guy right there they're probably pretty comfy yeah there's uh there's a bunch of vehicles parked here and I'm not sure what time Walmart opens anymore that car's on a flat but I I slept in the parking lot of the Walmart a couple times a long time ago when urban camping wasn't a thing. I stayed in my Mountaineer for a while, about six months, and Walmart was a safe place to go. So this place is a possible option to do a stealth camping video I just kind of got to look and see what their hours of operation are so that I'm not breaking any rules it looks like they just opened that door to let that worker out so I'm assuming that they're not open let's go check out the mall right, here we have Foothills Mall um, there's a lot of cars here I'm not sure what they're doing here the mall doesn't open until like 9 or even later on Sunday but I used to stay in the Mountaineer here during the non-pandemic times and I stayed around the corner and I'll show you that. So at one point in time, this on the other side right here of the entrance was a Anytime Fitness. And it still is. Okay, 24-7 Anytime Fitness does not look like they are open. So, with that being said, when it was open all the time, I would drive down to this end of the parking lot. And I would crash right here. You see those parking spots? All these parking spots, I would crash here. And it was safe. And there was always parking right there, so it was never a big deal. The whole urban camping might take a little bit of trying, though, to try to find a decent place to do it uh, that's not like an actual camping spot. All right, guys. This is it. I want to give a, sh a huge shout-out to old Steve Wallace because that's who I watch doing these urban camping. I watch a lot of van life-type vehicle living channels and his is the one that makes me want to use what I've got which is the I got a truck and a Mountaineer so maybe next time I'll use the Mountaineer it's a little bit more comfortable to sleep in and here I'm at I'm gonna close this video out at the second local Walmart both of these Walmarts are just within a few miles of my house so if I wanted to I mean, there's RVs here as well as was the other one. So, technically I can do, I can go to any of these places. So, if you guys want to see more of these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to tell me what you want to see. Because uh, I'm kind of into any adventure, all kinds of adventure that I can get into. This was a cheap thing to do. I grabbed some food from the house couple bucks in gas and that was it I got all the camping gear to do the camping and all the other stuff to sleep in the truck if I wanted to do some some urban stealth camping or the mountaineer 
but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if so, if so, if if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to show, show some support by liking and subscribing. This is Sid Survival Guide, Chuck and Deuces.